You've been using Mobility Print and now you want to get started with Cloud Print. I'm here to show you how. First off, this video assumes you're using Google Workspace for managed Chromebooks. If you're looking for the BYOD version of this video, it's up here. I'm assuming that you already have Mobility Print installed on a server or computer with access to your printers. If you haven't, there's another link in the top right corner that can help you get up and running with that. The first step is to open the admin interface and click on the button that says Enable Cloud Print. Confirm on the pop-up and it might take a few seconds to connect to our servers the first time you enable Cloud Print. The next thing to do is to create an invite link. These links allow end users to connect and print to your printers from outside your network. The first step here is to choose a name for the link. I'm going to call it Demo. These names can't be seen by users and are just for the admin to see which invite link is which so you can manage them in the future. The next step is an optional step, which is available to Papercut MF and NG customers, which allows the admin to control which printers can be seen by people with this invite link. I'm going to disable this printer. Another point to note is that when I install any new printers on this server, users with this link will be able to access that printer as well, since I have this option enabled. Before we move on, selecting printers here only changes which printers are accessible over Cloud Print. For local users, they'll still have access to all of them, unless you implement subnet filtering or use Print Deploy, which can deploy specific printers and drivers based on user groups, IP ranges, and computers. The final step is to set the expiration dates. The invite link expiration sets the date for when the invite link will no longer allow users to set up cloud printing. The printing expiration date is useful for when you only want users printing for a set period of time, before they'll be unable to print using the same link anymore. If you're using Papercut MF, you control printing per person anyway, so it is less important to set these dates. I'm going to set them not to expire. Now we can go ahead and generate our link. Now our link is generated, we're just going to switch to the Google Workspace tab. You'll want to click the Download Policy button, which we are going to use in the Google Workspace Admin Console. Once you have it open, navigate to Devices, Chrome, Apps and Extensions, then finally Users and Browsers. Select the organizational unit you want to deploy to. Then in the bottom right, go to New, Add from Chrome Web Store, and search for Papercut Mobility Print. Select it, and it should show up here, and we're going to change Allow Install to Force Install. Then we're going to add our policy here by clicking the Upload button and selecting the policy that we just downloaded. If you want to use multiple links, instructions can be found on the Papercut Help Center. Now you just need to save, and Cloud Print is deployed to all users in this unit. Just before I let you go, I've got one last tip for those of you who use Papercup MF and the Find Me feature. The default setting is to only hold jobs for four hours, but we suggest that you change this to a few days or so, just so that people can print off site and have enough time to get back on site and use their badge to print. Happy printing.